If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. In this video, we are going to see how you can leverage low-cost MCP server to run your low-cost test using natural language processing. If you are new to model context protocol, I suggest you to refer my previous videos so that you have some basic understanding about model context protocol and its backstory. So to get started with Locust MCP server, we are going to leverage Cursor, which is one of the model context protocol compliant client. To begin with, you have to clone the repo. And once you cloning is done, you need to install a couple of things. One is, of course, you need Python, and also you need to install UV, and also you have to install Locust in your local system. If you are new to Locust, and if you want to get started, please check my Locust playlist. And once the cloning and installing of the prerequisites are done, so only thing you have to do is you have to make sure the env file has all the configuration. For example, locust host, you are going to test locust users, the number of uh, threads, spawn rate, and the runtime seconds. So these are the sample env file. Of course, you can change it based on your requirement. And this is the simple script. You can also refer this or you can run your own locust script. Next, you have to configure the MCP server in the client. So in this case, we are going to use cursor. You can also use cloud desktop or windsurf. And this is the MCP config. Just copy this and paste it in your config.json. And once it is done, restart your client and then you can ask the LLM to run the locust test. Now let us go to cursor. And here, as you see, this is my sample uh, the repo, which has the locust server, which is responsible to talk to MCP. And our interest is to run the hello.py. Before you begin, you need to configure the MCP server. So just launch the settings and click MCP. And here, as you see, there are three MCP servers, which is up and running, Jmeter, K6, and locust. To add your own, MCP server config, you can just click on this button and here you can add your config. So the sample config which is available in the GitHub repo, you can just copy and paste. Once that is done, close this and make sure the servers are green or if not, you can just uh, hit refresh and if you want to enable or disable, you can do this. So now let us launch the chat and let me close this mcp.json, we don't need. Now we can ask LLM run hello.py and once you hit enter it will first uh, start looking for the context then it will look out for the mcp tools and if there is a right tool found then it will display this calling mcp tool and if you just expand you can see it's automatically configure the settings for you and if you hit run tool it will launch the locust test in the background and then it will start running once the test is done, it will automatically displays the results for us. It will automatically analyze and then it will display the observations. So right now it is displaying that localhost 8089 is not up and running. So that is why it is displaying the whole message. Now let us go to env and let us change this to say example.com. Now let me start a new conversation and now we can run hello.py again. So now as you see here, it is automatically extracting the env configuration. And if you expand this, you can see the host and other details and hit run tool. So now locust test is completed. Here's the summary of what happened. So the test ran for 10 seconds with the three users and the test made to several endpoints. These endpoints are coming from the hello.py. So based on your requirement, you can just change it. This is a simple hello world script and it is already uh, displaying the post call, git call, everything is uh, 404 and 403. And here you can see the target is not accessible and endpoints are def defined in your test script doesn't exist. So let us make very realistic uh, scenario. So I'm going to delete all, uh, delete this task, don't need this, and delete this as well. And here we can just say, slash which will hit the the root endpoint and here also we can just 
delete the particular task. So now start again. And as you see here, the result is success and is displaying all the details. So total requests made 9, success rate, response time, maximum response time, minimum response time, etc. So this is how you leverage Locust MCP server to target your test so that you can get most of the benefits out of LLMs. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.